How's it going gamers? Another day, another video, and in this one I'm going to show you how to be really sneaky on H1Z1. I'm not too sure if this will work on PC, I'm not sure how the mechanics work there. Um, if it does, you, you know, um, all the best to you, but I, I'm just playing the PS4 open beta version. Um, this will work for all of you. Now, first part of this, com this comes in stages. First part of it is preparation, um, which is key. Now, usually I try and find somewhere to drop that's got a vehicle icon. It's the first thing I'll look for. I'll head towards that direction because the transport is really, really going to help me out here. Um, I'll grab what I can. Usually the best things to start off with is going to be the SMG, the riot shotgun, and grab as many bandages and first aid as you possibly can. Right, so um, I have actually got quite a bit. I'm all right at the moment. Um, I've got armor. I've got backpack. You know, there's nothing much more I can get that's going to be better unless it's from a supply drop. I see the C-130 coming in, I see the supplies dropping east, that's exactly where I'm going to head now. Um, I'm hoping to get an AK-47, an AR-15 and the combat shotgun with enough ammo, some frags, everything else after that's just going to be gravy. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the most important thing for me at the moment is, you know, um, getting my equipment together. As I'm heading towards the place, I end up um, hearing a supply, uh, well, a military crate. You can hear that frequency going off. That's when you know there's a military crate close by. So I'm hoping one of the three weapons I really need for this is going to be in there. Um, another decent weapon you can use as well is the KH. I really adore that weapon. I think it's one of the best weapons in the game I can use. Um, but the, instead, I ended up with the Scout Sniper Rifle. Now, <coughs> this is... Um, uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you at the end, basically, about scout sniper rifles and the M20 as well, because they can also be very, very useful for this. Yeah, I'm playing in solos. This will obviously work for squads if you've got a capable squad. Um, I have got one or two friends who are really good at this game who I can play with, but I've yet to find, you know, the, the a few more um, who can fit in the squad who know what they're doing know what to call out aren't really aggressive and idiots do you know what i mean but i've been coming across a, a few uh fortnite noobs if you will or pros i think the fortnite pros i think they call themselves um so yeah i've ended up with the AR, uh, ar-15 i've got a scout sniper rifle which is pretty redundant here in this situation but um, i've got the combat shotgun as well i've got quite a few uh, first aids i'm absolutely buzzing also your vehicle as well um, if you're using a police cruiser or you're using an ATV, that's going to give away somebody's been in there. Um, Jeeps can also do that, but you know some people tend not to notice. Um, but pickup trucks are going to be your very, very best ones to use. Um, at the moment, you know I'm making a few mistakes myself. I should have grenades on the go right now. Yeah, I've got my AR-15, and then I'm going to switch to my combat. But um, I end up shutting the door, which I shouldn't do because I'm pretty sure one of our customers who comes along is alerted to this. But yeah, the, the trap is here, the bait's here, the, the trap's set, set, should I say. Now it's just a waiting game for uh, our first customer. So let's see and listen to what happens. Luckily, I've got a good set of uh, headphones, so I can literally hear everything going on around me. So yeah, that's one problem I've been having with this game. I've gone to throw the Molotov and it's not thrown it. Um, so yeah, that really did my head in, but I've ended up making a fatal mistake here. I've sprung all his loot, expecting him to have minimal stuff. Um, and now that's going to alert people. People are going to turn up here and they're going to realise someone's died here, someone's looted them. So, so, so there's, there's activity in this area and I shouldn't have done that. Um, also, I should have left the door open. I'm just, I, should have keep, I should keep my movements to a minimum. Uh, bear all this in mind, learn from my mistakes if you will. Um, now we're just going to wait for customer number two. Um, this, this, you know, can come thick and fast usually, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, with it being the only supply drop in the area, um, I'm hoping, you know, it did start trickling in soon.
Well, that was touch and go. And again, I've sprung his loot like an idiot. But um, at the end of the day, this is why the AK-47 had come into uh, use here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've ended up trying to grab some gear off the guy and somebody else is there. I need to fall back, wrap up, bandages, med kit. This is why these come in handy. I've got 14 health. I need to get my health up. He's still around here somewhere. I'm thinking he's going to try and get to that one way or another. For some reason, everybody's really attracted to these. Um, so I, I don't really want him popping it. Um, so unfortunately, he's popped it just before I've managed to uh, slay him. So that's it. The trap's over with. We've baited as many people in as we can. Um, we're going to grab as, as much as we can and then hope for the best. Um, unfortunately, I didn't come close to a victory. Um, I, did, I did as well as I can. Um, but yeah, it was just one of them situations, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm going to let the video carry on, obviously, so you can see how it all panned out. But this is a really, really good way of being able to get people to come to you, um, slay them. And hopefully a lot of these people have raided other supply drops as well. So when it comes to it, when the jig is up or when, you know, the glass, gas cloud's approaching, then you can pop all the um, other people's loot, grab everything that you need so you've got some really, really decent set of gear. And then that's it, then head off and hopefully you'll have a better start. But yeah, this is how to bait with supply crates. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, uh, carry on watching the game footage by all means if you wish to. Um, be advised my aiming isn't, isn't the best. I'm trying to, you know, get used to my sensitivities, things like that. Um, this will be absolutely perfect to use for um, squads as well. Um, you know, if, you, if you're good enough to set up a decent ambush squad and a kill box, this is going to be an absolutely fantastic tactic for you. Um, and also as well, when it came to the sniper rifle and scout sniper, um, these are brilliant um, tools, especially with the AR-15 to use when the supply, the supply crate drops in open ground. Um, try and use tree lines, cover, stuff like that. Um, and also, like I said, try and make sure you're using pickup trucks or jeeps as ATVs and uh, police cruisers seem to, you know, they show, they show up. Oh. <laughs> They're basically visible easily. Um, another thing as well, which not a lot of people seem to realise, is you can coast on this. Now, if you get in a vehicle, start driving as fast as you can, you're heading towards a specific area, and you don't want them to hear your vehicle, uh, as you approach the area, um, just press the square button, you'll cut the engine out and you'll drift to that area so there's no engine noise. That's a real good tactic I've been using as well. So that's about it. There's nothing re really much more I can add. Um, if you want to watch the rest of it, see how it goes, go for it. Um, enjoy the rest of it and um, I'm going to go back into solos and get my uh, victories. Right. See you in a bit. Good gaming out there. Bye.